Hey, Walleye Wisdom Watchers, this is Gary Spiker reporting from the Uni Dome up at Cedar Falls, Iowa, with our good friend Thomas Allen. Now, Thomas, aren't you supposed to be home writing something about the outdoors? What are you doing up here? I am here, uh, yes, I should be at home writing. Uh, unfortunately, that's how I pay my bills. Actually, fortunately, it's a blessing. But uh, here at the Uni Dome today, going to be doing some seminars. In fact, we're going to be dedicating our time today to Iowa fishing. Um, and this is a unique opportunity for you to come and learn about how to fish Iowa lakes. Uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of pros come into these shows and they're going to talk about general tactics, how to troll, how to cast, how to pitch, this and that. We're going to talk about how to catch fish in Iowa lakes. Starting at 1 o'clock is going to be my first uh, program. We're going to talk about muskies. Happen to be pretty close to my heart. Yeah. We're going to talk about how to catch Iowa muskies. A lot of people out there think that, you know, there's just not enough of them. There's none to catch here. Uh, we'll just share one little bit. I'm going to talk about a day where me and a friend caught seven in two hours oh in Iowa. In Iowa. In Ooh. Iowa. So we're going to talk about that. Second uh, seminar is going to be at 4 o'clock. We're going to talk about Iowa bass fishing. And uh, then this evening, we're actually going to stretch my limits a little bit, talk about a fish I don't know a ton about, and uh, we're going to talk about Iowa walleyes in some non-traditional waters. Um, obviously, we'll mention lakes like Clear Lake, Okaboji, Storm Lake, but we're going to focus a lot of our time on the non-traditional waters such as 12 mile, 3 mile, and Brushy Creek that are loaded with sticks and not too friendly to baits with a lot of hooks. But uh, that's going to be the goal today. Hopefully branch out and talk about some uh, interesting tactics on Iowa waters and uh, you're going to be walking away full just like you had a big steak dinner. All right. Well, I like that. Now, for those folks that can't make it to Cedar Falls today, you want to preview your upcoming shows? I will be uh, also in Cedar Rapids at the, at the uh, Cedar Rapids Sports Show that's at Hawkeye Downs, which is on the south, give me the southwest corner of Cedar Rapids. Yep. Uh, it's a very exciting show. I'll be there with a good friend and, and uh, walleye expert Tommy Scarless, uh, only second to the very uh, walleye wise Gary Spike. Oh course. my goodness. Uh, but then. Uh, we'll be also doing the Quad City Expo. That's going to be in February at the Quad City Expo Center. Uh, I know Bob's Marine is going to be down there too, so we'll probably get a chance to talk with you then. But both places will be talking about Iowa, hunting and fishing, and uh, promoting the resources we have here at home. Well, that's great, Thomas. Uh, I'll look forward to catching up with you at those two shows now. Are you on the schedule here tomorrow in Cedar Falls? I will be here tomorrow as well. We'll be doing the bass seminar and the walleye seminar tomorrow as well. So there's going to be a chance. If you can't make it down today, you can maybe hassle me some tomorrow. We are going to do some extensive Q&A following the uh, seminar as well. So if you've got any questions about Iowa waters, we're going to try to figure that out for you here this weekend. Well, Thomas, thanks for taking the time to visit. It's my pleasure. Thanks for that fun interview we did uh, <laughs> last year for NPAA. Of course. So now I'm getting even with you. I'm on the interviewer side. Great information for all our watchers, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at these future shows. I appreciate it, Gary, and Walleye Wisdom's where it's at. Thank you, Thomas.